Hello everyone. Today I'm making the other new movie in order to deliver you the continue chapter 17, part 2. Yes, chapter 17, part 2. We already learned or watched and learned uh, chapter 17, part 1 is about GDP, gross domestic product. Okay, so chapter 17 measuring economic activities in one country in order to measure economic activity in one country we use two uh, measurements such as one as gdp gross domestic product and the uh, the second one is unemployment so by now we are finished uh, learning gdp moreover uh, from the beginning, uh, from the first movie, our uh, chapter 17, I also mentioned GDP is positive measurement. Unemployment is negative measurement. Why is GDP positive measurement? Because when you see that the GDP for one country or uh, GDP in one country is a larger amount, maybe going up. You can see become bigger and bigger value. So economic activity in this country will be more and more. That's why you see GDP positive go up, economic activity will be going up. That's why this is positive relationship. So GDP is a positive concept measurement. However, unemployment, we will look at why unemployment is negative concept measurement. Okay. So today, uh, this movie we will go into, we will go into unemployment. So I'm not saying any, anything about GDP for this one because you have learned so far GDP, and you already uh, practiced. You had time to practice exercise and answer the questions for uh, GDP. So right now we are going to unemployment. Okay, unemployment. Besides real GDP that we already learned or we already looked at so far, the other statistic uh, that receives a great deal attention, the deal of attention, both from economists, researchers, and from public, uh, general public, is the rate of unemployment. So. Beside uh, GDP or real GDP, we are we are looking the other side as unemployment rate in order to measure economic activities in one country, one province, or one state. Unemployment rate is a sensitive indicator of conditions in the labor market. So when we're talking about employment or unemployment, we refer to labor market in that country. When we're talking about labor market, we have labor supply, we have labor demand. So when labor supply and labor demand uh, come to across each other, you got a uh, equilibrium market. When you got equilibrium market, normally you got a wage and you got number of labor supply or number of labor demand. Okay, so this is about labor market. When, un when the unemployment rate is low, when the unemployment rate is low, the jobs in that country tend to be secure or are secure and relatively easy to find. Okay, because jobs are secure, it's not easy to, fi to be fired, it's not easy to get out of the job. That's why people tend to have that job for a long time. And uh, because it, that it, jobs seem to be secure, that's why uh, people tend to get jobs and for a long time. So they don't want to get out of this job. And moreover, uh, in this country, jobs tend to be easy to find because everyone can find job easily. They can get job, they can have a job. That's why when they get job or they can have job to work, or they can involve them to involve themselves to the job or to the work, so they can escape from unemployment. So when everyone can get job, 
can get a work they will escape from unemployment so unemployment rate in this country will be will be low so this is a good sign for country okay this is a good sign for country because when the country have low unemployment people tend to have more employed when people have more employed economic activities in this country tend to be go up that's why this country economy tend to be grow so this that's why we look at low unemployment rate low unemployment is often associated with improving wages and working conditions as well as employers compete with the other employers with the other employer to attract or to retain to keep the other workers okay if one question asking you what is employment or what does it mean unemployment so these two questions have the same meaning sometimes they asking you what is unemployment or what does it mean unemployment sometimes so what do you think or what is your answer unemployment is referred to a status of a person who does not work and is actively searching for employment but he or she has not yet found okay this is a answer so normally based on experience when I ask what does it mean unemployment or what is unemployment the students always answer the student always answer unemployment refer to the people who have no job or the person who don't have job so this answer cannot be uh, classified as unemployment okay in order to to have a full meaning of unemployment you need to have you need to answer the person who don't have job or don't work okay the person or the people don't have work or a person does not work and they try to find work very hard or hardly hard work searching for work very actively but the work that they try to find they try to get not yet coming not yet found okay so if question asking what does it mean and what does it mean unemployment or what is unemployment don't answer only the person who does not work or does not have a job okay this is not a full this is not a correct answer so in order to get the correct answer for this question you need to uh, understand unemployment refer to a status of person who does not work uh, they don't have job they try to find job very very actively but the job that they apply or that are the job that they want not yet coming or not yet found so this is the meaning of unemployment to measure unemployment it is needed to find the rate or the rate of unemployment so how to find the rate on employment in order to find rate of employment we use this formula unemployment rate is equal to number of people unemployed number of people unemployed divided by labor force okay so this is you already look at this one uh, this is you already done here or you'll be already understood from this one that's why here but what is labor force okay what is labor force labor force is the group of people a group of people of a combination of people who employ and unemployed okay so labor force is a combination of group of people who are employed that means they have work they have job plus number of people who are unemployed who are employed here the people who are unemployed that means they don't have work 
uh, they don't have job and they try to find job or try to work very actively but not yet found okay this is before unemployed so in order to study unemployment normally we try to get unemployment rate in order to get unemployment rate we take a number of people unemployed divided by number of people in labor force and multiply by 100 percent this is 100 percent because we're talking about rate okay so multiply by 100 percent but sometimes we don't multiply by 100 percent if we don't uh, find rate Measuring unemployment. Country adult or working population, adult population or working age population can be classified into three categories or three groups. Okay. Adult, adult I mean normally 16 and over, 16 years of age and over. This is called adult or working age population. So, people who are at age 16 and over, this is we call adult or working age people. But for the country as a whole, this is adult population or working age population. So, in one country, adult population or working age population can be classified into three uh, categories or class or groups, such as one employee population or employed people we refer to the people who work as part of full time or part time during the past week so any people in the country that work last week during the past week or last week they work as a full time or part time we classify this person or these people as employed person or employed per people. Employed population in the country also include <coughs> uh, left job people by vocation or sick. Yes, it, when, when we're talking about vocation, normally refer to education, teachers. Teachers during uh, break time we call vocation just yes, a small a short period vocation a long period vocation short period vocation maybe two weeks a long period vocation maybe uh, 10 weeks or almost uh, three months okay so even they not going to the workplace or they are not going to the school for, for teaching or they're not going to the office because uh, uh, during this time is their vocation but they still have job so this person these people also include into employ why teacher during vacation they don't go to class for teaching but their name is in the list of that school that's why salary is still delivery to them they get they, they can pay a salary every month however the six staff or employers uh, uh, employees six staff or six employees they also including into employ they're not going to office they're not going to the workplace they stay maybe in hospital for treatment or they stay at home for treatment but their name uh, still uh, on the list of salary i mean salary or employment list okay so employ people and population refer to people who work as full-time or part-time during the past week employed population also including the people who now who don't go to workplace but they can get a salary or they can get a bonus or they, they still can get a, the, the the salary and bonus due to vacation or due to sickness second group Unemployed population. Unemployed population refer to people who don't do not have work during the preceding weeks, but they try hard to find work. What does preceding week? 
preceding four weeks, not preceding, preceding four weeks is different from the last four weeks. Preceding week, for example, today, today is Monday. Okay, so from Monday today to last Monday, this is preceding, pre, preceding last week. <coughs> Proceeding last week, from last Monday to the other Monday, the other Monday is preceding two weeks. Last Monday to the last Monday, this is a uh, preceding three week. The last Monday to the other last Monday, this is preceding four week. That's why today is Monday. Monday last week, Monday last two week, Monday last three week, Monday last four week. So from the Monday last four, four week to this Monday, this is preceding four weeks. So it different from last week. Last week it should be start from Monday to Sunday and then Monday to Sunday again. Okay? So Monday, Sunday, Monday, Sunday. But this is not really that one. For example, the other the other example. For example, this is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday last week, this is one preceding one week. Wednesday last two weeks, this is preceding two weeks. Wednesday last three weeks, this is preceding last three weeks or preceding last three weeks. Wednesday last four weeks, this is preceding four weeks. That's why suppose that today is Wednesday. From Wednesday today to Wednesday last week, this is preceding one week from Wednesday today to uh, Wednesday last two weeks this is preceding two weeks from Wednesday today to Wednesday last three weeks this is preceding four weeks from Wednesday today to Wednesday last four weeks this is preceding last uh, preceding four weeks okay so preceding a week preceding one week is different from last week Normally we're talking about last week, last week refer to Monday to Sunday, or maybe from Sunday to Saturday. But basically it depends on now. What day is now? That's why from this from the day now to from that day now to that day last week, last two weeks, last three weeks, last four weeks. So during preceding last four weeks, they don't have work. And they're trying to find work, but not yet found. If someone or if people during preceding last four weeks, today we ask them, okay, today we ask them, during preceding last four weeks from, uh, from today and back to the last four weeks, and they don't have, and they did not have job, and they have tried to find job very, very actively, but not yet found. So, if this person has the condition, we classify them as unemployment population or unemployment people. The other, the other group, last group is we call population out of labor force. <coughs> population that not in labor force. Population out of labor force or population not in labor force refer to people who do not have work during the past week and do not intend in do not try to find work during the past four weeks <laughs> okay so the the past week they don't have work and the past four weeks they don't try to find work so this if any people who have the condition we classify them out of labor force this including Students, retirees, students normally uh, their function is their role is study, so they don't need to find work. That's why they are not in labor force. They are not employed people. They are not unemployed people. They are of labor force. They are student. Retirees, retiree people who older. They cannot get work because of their body tend to be weak. That's why they are of labor force. Okay, they are of labor force. So, 
country population. Oh, sorry, sorry, country adult population or country working age population can be classified into three groups. One is employee population. Second one is unemployed population, and the third one population or people out of labor force or not in labor force. Labor force. Labor force is the total number of employed population plus number of unemployed population in the economy or in the country. <coughs> Okay, so in order to get <coughs> level four, you need to take group one plus group two. What is group one? Group one here, group two here. So if you take group one, employed population plus unemployed population, you will get level four. That's why I can say a shortcut L F. Come from group one plus group two. Okay, group one plus group two. Okay, uh, this is the way that we use in order to find labor force. So, in order to find labor force in one country, you need to have a number of people employed, or we call employed population, and you need to have number of people unemployed or we call unemployed population and just take number employed population plus number of unemployed population you will get labor force okay so it means you need to have group one plus group two participation rate uh, this is in shortcut Sometimes we call labor force participation rate or just shortcut participation rate. But its long name is labor force participation rate. So what does it mean labor force participation rate? Labor force participation rate is the percentage of working age population or adult population in labor force. Okay, the percentage in labor force. The percentage of in the percentage in labor force of working age population. So how to find labor force participation rate or participation rate? This is the formula that we use in order to find labor force participation rate or participation rate. That's why you need to have labor force. You need to take labor force divided by adult or working age population in the country multiplied by 100%. Okay, this is percentage because it's about rate. So level four participation rate or participation rate is the percentage of labor force in hundred percent in hundred percent working age population. So now we can find labor force in one country and we also can find labor force participation rate in that countries by using these formulas okay based on table 17.5 uh, this is about u.s employment data in july 2017 uh, the the unit that we use is million people Okay, number of employee population in United States 2017, 153,051,000. If we take employee population plus unemployed population with that number, we will get labor force. That's why in order to find labor force, you need to get, you need to have employee population plus unemployed population. If we get labor force and we take labor force to plus uh, population not in labor force or population out of labor force we will have working age population working age population normally they define as 16 to 64 years of age okay people in the country who are 16 to 64 years of age 
we include them into working age population or adult population. So look at this one. Adult population in a country or working age population in a country classified into three groups. Group 1 employed, group 2 unemployed, group 3 out of labor force. If we take group 1 plus group 2, this is we call labor force. If we take labor force plus population out of labor force, this is working age population. Okay, note. Because some students so far they confuse working age population as national population. Okay, national population is different from working age population. How it is different? National population we count the baby just born today up to maybe the oldest people in the country. Okay from zero years or zero months from baby born today to the oldest this is national population however working age population we just count the people who 16 to 64 that's why from zero to 15 15 point something and over then 64 we not count into working age population but this count into national population okay so to summarize working age population must must less than national population because working age population not capturing not capturing the children, the oldest people. That's why a few students or some students so far they confuse working age population as national population. They are not. Okay, based on this information or the data, if you want to find unemployment rate, unemployment rate equal to number of people unemployed divided by labor force and multiply by 100%. Unemployment is 6.98 million. Labor force is 160.49 million and multiplied by 100%, we got 4.3%. Uh, okay, who can explain what does it mean 4.3%? What does it mean? 4.3% or who can explain this meaning? The other one, if you want to find labor force participation rate, you need to take labor force divided by working age population and multiply by 100%. Okay, based on, based on this one, labor force is 160.49 and working age population is 255.15 so we take 160.49 divided by 255.15 and multiply by 100% so we get participation rate participation rate is about 33% it means in this case actually 32.9 so who can explain the meaning of 32.9% uh, not 32, 62 sorry 62.9% not 30 so what does it mean? 62.9% what does it mean? 62.9% okay I'm waiting for hearing or seeing your explanation about 
Okay. In this case, you can go to consult or no, go to your textbook. Go into your textbook, you can see concept check 17.6 on page 465. Maybe you can study this one. Okay, so this one in order to get more understanding. Tab of unemployment. There are always some types of unemployment in the country, but Economists just classify those types of unemployment into four types. So in this case, there are four types of unemployment in the country. One, we call natural rate of unemployment. Natural rate of unemployment, uh, normally we call long run unemployment. Okay, long run unemployment. Is a normal rate of unemployment around which the actual unemployment fluctuate. Fluctuate means go up and down, go up and down, fluctuation. Okay, so actual unemployment in one country will be go up and down, it depends on months, it depends on season, it depends on uh, times, or it depends on economic conditions. Second so one, Cyclical unemployment. What does it mean cyclical? Cyclical is circle. Circle go round, round, and round, and round. That's why I say go up and down. This is a cyclical, cyclical unemployment. Okay? Cyclical unemployment is a deviation of unemployment from its natural rate of unemployment. It is associated to business cycle. Okay, well, for example, this is a uh, cyclical unemployment. This is natural rate of unemployment. Okay, this is natural rate of unemployment. This is cyclical unemployment. And cyclical unemployment normally associated with business cycle. Okay, maybe I draw the other business cycle. Okay, so this one is business cycle. Business cycle is uh, like uh, the direction or the, the movement of business activities in one country. Sometimes, some season, some condition, economic condition, business can go up. More activities. Okay, more activity, more economic activity, normally more GDP. But sometimes, tend to be go down. This is maybe crisis, recession, or maybe worse condition. For example, right recently, COVID-19. In terms of COVID-19, some business go down. Okay, not some, most business going down. So and that's why people tend to be more unemployed because when business go down, they reduce their, they cut their activities. When they cut their activities, they need only uh, less staff, less worker, less staff. That's why they will fire they, they will fire some staff or some workers. So the staff or worker that be fired from business, this is unemployment. Unemployment go, going up. But when COVID-19 is gone, so recovering coming, business tend to be go up because more activity. When more activity, they need more uh, workers or employees. If they need more worker employee, they recruit worker employee. Employee tend to get job. Okay, employee to get job, that's why unemployment go down. So this is a negative associate. So cycle cycle called unemployment is this negative associated with business cycle. So when business go down, unemployment go up. When business go down, it means that 
uh, this is a bad time or the worst time or crisis time or recession time but when business is going up this is the the recovering time maybe the worst uh, the the growing time the bubble time or maybe the, the good time for a business okay this is the can one so look at this one just i just mentioned the i i draw the blue one refer to business cycle the red one is cycle unemployment the pink one is natural rate of unemployment natural rate unemployment based on this one is average okay it should be the average of cycle unemployment so cycle unemployment that's why cycle unemployment is go up go down go up go down it depends on business cycle but however cyclical unemployment and business uh, cycle is negative association next one frictional unemployment frictional unemployment refer to the status of unemployed people or unemployed person when workers spend time searching for a jobs or the job that best suit their skills best shoot their skill and their test short run for the most workers so in this case frictional let me refer to uh, the people that don't satisfy or they don't like okay so frictional unemployment refer to the the people that they become unemployed because they don't like the job they don't like the current job they don't like the work that they have today that's why maybe they resign from this one they get out of this one and they try to find the other new job though the other new work that those job or the work are the best suit to their skill or the best test normally this is a short run why short run because they can find the other job maybe in short run they cannot stay for long unemployed for long they can work they can go they can find job easily but maybe this job not satisfy them so they 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 resign from this one or they quit that one they escape from that one and they try to find the new job that the best fit best fit, shoot or best fit to their skill or their test that's why this unemployment because of worker themselves okay this because of worker themselves they resign a current job because they don't like they don't satisfy with this job that's why they try to find new one so it's short time because they cannot stay for long unemployed the other one structural unemployment structural unemployment happen when the there are few jobs then worker apply then application oh there are few jobs then uh, <coughs> then work applications when the labor market is out of equilibrium, yes, out of equilibrium because uh, labor demand is smaller than labor supply. Okay, few job is labor demand. That means that uh, business only provide few job. Business sector only need uh, few workers, but there are many, many, many worker apply jobs. That's why this is out of equilibrium. usually occurs as a consequences of a shift in uh, industrial composition yes because of changing over time that's why uh, because technology change because uh, economic condition change that's why industrial uh, uh, comp component or elements also change so industrial also change that's why in this case refer to skill mismatch skill mismatch that means because the technology are always improving because our condition always improving that's why uh, employers or business sectors will need the, the, the qualified uh, workers the up to that uh, skill workers so worker with the skill for the old industry mix do not have skill that are appropriate for the next mix that's why in this case 
uh, unemployment happened not because of workers but because of uh, because of maybe social structure the chain from one condition to condition <clears throat> okay for example uh, let's say uh, it's good to see like this one uh, with teachers before COVID-19 you can see uh, we, we, we have class okay we have class so that's why uh, teachers and students go to class and learning teaching and in the class so we don't need more uh, uh, technologies we don't need more technologies just uh, go into the class and maybe use a book and use a whiteboard and pen uh, mark uh, green board of a shark and the teacher write down the lesson on this one and maybe uh, ask students to study and discuss each other among uh, the problems in the class but uh, you, during COVID-19 there's no class no physical class but online class for example some teacher they have all mix they don't know how to use technology for delivery online class so school may be not employ them anymore that's why they become unemployed why they become unemployed because they have all industrial mix they have all skill but now uh, business need new skills okay so if they don't catch up a new skill or they don't have they don't follow up the new skill they are unemployed so the old the teacher who have all industrial mix they don't want to be unemployed, but because of technology uh, improving, or because of working condition improving, or because of economic condition improving, so that's why uh, business people or business sector try to find a new industrial mix or new skill mix. That's why this is because skill mix mismatch. That means business they need that skill. Okay, basically they need that skill, but many people that go to apply, many people go to apply this one, they have the other skill. They have many skills. Okay, maybe this skill and that skill not the same. That's why most people become unemployed. So in this case, uh, people become unemployed not because of themselves but because of economic condition technology condition or social condition that's why we call it structural change because of working structure change that's why some people become become unemployed okay so we have again we have four types of unemployment long run unemployment this 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 is long run this is the, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one, this is short run unemployment. Why short run? I, I, I mentioned a cycle here. Cy uh, when business cycle go up, so uh, cycle unemployment go down, up and down, up and down. But this is because of uh, friction, not because of uh, themselves, worker try uh, not satisfy, don't like the current job. They try to resign, they try to quit that job and find a new job. But this one not because of worker themselves, but because of social uh, structure or working structures or maybe economic structure change. That's why some labor become unemployed because they have old skill, but now they, the business sector, they need new skills. Okay. Unemployment rate versus true unemployed. Unemployment. <laughs> discouraged workers discouraged worker refer to people who want to have job that means they refer to people who say they would like to work they would like to have job but they have not met effort or they don't try hard to find job in the last four weeks it's like uh, this is maybe they they feel uh, failure. 
first they try to apply a job but maybe not get calling for interview not let calling for test that's why later on they feel disappointment or they feel that okay they are weak they are not successful so they 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 give up the uh, uh, the job application and yes they want to they want to work but they don't try to find work maybe you you ring what they apply to work not yet a uh, calling from a company so this is because uh, uh discourage worker they mean they they try to uh, not they try to push up themselves but they try to it's like uh, uh, this is not not a confident worker okay they try to uh, become unconfident workers or application job applications there are one voluntary part time jobs voluntary part time workers people who say that they would like to work full time but are able to find only part time jobs this is voluntary part time workers refer to full care that they want to get a full time but they cannot find full time they get only part time jobs these workers are sometimes referred to as under employed workers under but clearly under employed worker not unemployment this is not unemployment because they work but they just work part time okay full time normally 8 hour per day this is full time but sometimes they just work only 1 hour 2 hours 3 hours yes that's why they are employed okay based on uh, group 1 they are employed they are employed population but we specify these people as under employed population what does it mean under employed population refer to the people who have work but they not work for the full day every day okay full day or full time work they work every day and 8 hours a day but in this case they they are in group 1 employed population but specifically they are under employed population it means that the worker who have work but not a full or not a standard full period of time okay some economists have suggested that these workers should be counted as partial unemployment partial unemployment some economists they count them as partial unemployment but some they call them as underemployed workers okay so this is a contradict or this is a contrast idea between some econ economics okay okay duration of unemployment duration of unemployment first duration spell uh, unemployment spelled unemployment spell refer to the period during which an individual or person is continuously and to be uh, unemployed that's why this is like period of time durable or unemployment the, the period of time that one person continue to be unemployed 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 that's why it should be the period that they start unemployed when they get this is start unemployed and they get a new job the time get new job okay <coughs> so sometime one month end and they continue to be unemployed one week end continue to be unemployed to be unemployed unemployed that's why this is called unemployment spelled so durable unemployment is a length of unemployment spelled okay this is the cost of unemployment or disadvantages of unemployment so best uh, on unemployment cost or disadvantages there are many many costs or unemployment uh, uh, disadvantages unemployment 
but in order to make it easy, they group into only three types of cost or disadvantages or unemployment. The first, economic cost. Okay, the economic cost is the the cost that get happened or that come from unemployment, referred to the foregone output due to not fully utilized workforce. Foregone output due to not fully utilized, not fully employed all workforce. This leads to fall workers' income and tax income. Okay, let's say I give you some poll. One village, let's say one village have maybe thousand workers. Okay, half thousand workers. If ten thousand worker produced go to work, we can produce thousand unit per day. So this village will have thousand unit of goods visit to consume per day. And if they take this one to sell to the other villages, they will get income. Okay, income, the win worker income. However, because uh, uh, this village has problem, that's why right now only 800 workers are employed. 200 are become unemployed so 800 worker they only produce 800 units per day that's why this village will lose 200 units per day okay this village will lose 200 units per day if you take if you take two 800 to sell to the other village they get income income will be less than this one why because Yes, normally if you sell thousand unit, you get one income. If you get, uh, if you sell only eight hundred unit, your income will be less than thousand unit selling. Okay, if the government, for in terms of this, uh, workers' income, in terms of tax income, if they produce less, uh, could also pay less tax. That's why government also lead to lower uh, tax income because of unemployment. That's why this is in terms of economic. Uh, unemployment make one country or one city or one state a low income, low tax, low development. Normally when the workers have less uh, income, they also spend less, they also spend less people will, uh, yes, uh, basically people will produce less, that's why they need less labor, low worker and government also get less tax income that paid by workers or business people. Okay, this is a, a, a in terms of economic activities. The other one, psycho, psy, psychological cost. Psychological cost refer to the the cost that happen in the in the unemployed people mind. Yes, for example, before they had job, they had income, they tend to be uh, yes strong, strong feeling, confident. But now because they lost job, they become unemployed, they lost income, so they lost control or maybe lost our cell system or feeling lost or control in life, sometimes depression and maybe they can commit uh, crime or maybe they do something, some bad activities in the society. So this has become just a, because of psych psychological cost. The other one is social cost. Social cost in terms of shortage of finance, increased crime, just as it may be uh, related to this one. Crime in this country become going up, violence, uh, domestic violence, the main family have <clears throat> fighting each other often because of uh, less finance, less money income. And uh, uh, other illegal activities will happen more in this village or these countries 
that lead to an increased public spending for maintaining public securities. That's why government will spend more in order to solve social problems that are uh, caused by unemployed people. Okay, this is a very short uh, uh, cause of unemployment. Maybe you can search for the uh, a little more detail. I just uh, briefly about this one. So unemployment provide a country with three types of cost, uh, economic cost that be refer to loss income, maybe business income, workers income, tax income. So when all, when everyone in the country has less income, they will spend less, and uh, and then they the spend less also they get a less uh, income. When they get less income again, the uh, country cannot develop. The other one is. Psychological cost is referred to the mining cost or mining feeling cost or loss. That's why inside uh, uh, unemployed workers, they they before they they got uh, everything that they they wanted because they had uh, uh, money, they had income, but now they lost job, they lost money, they cannot get everything what they want. Okay. That's why they lose their stem feeling, loss of control in life, or maybe sometimes, sometimes sad or depression. Maybe they do something not properly in terms of uh, securities. The other one is social cost. Okay, the social cost refer to crime activities, violence, illegal activities happen in the countries or in the society that speak. The government must spend more money in order to solve these problems. Okay, so this is a uh, the last minute of uh, unemployment. So okay, uh, it's time for you to watch and.